So just a, a key on Mike Austin. Mike Austin wanted you to play this way. This is where these guys uh, don't have a clue as to the swing. Uh, he wanted to think this way. And you do that by lowering this rear shoulder and swinging out this way. The moment I don't want to play this way. Uh, I don't want to play this way. Exactly. I'm playing this way. Just like you go around like this. And if this this is what gets over the line, you're dead. Yeah. Well, I'm here. Okay. I never hit the ball in the fairway. Get that right shoulder over this way. never taught me to try to square up the club. The thought was to have it from the backswing and then at a 45 degree angle out to the ball. The, the target was your ball, not the target line. I mean, that's just dead straight what I'm feeling like. I am hitting it 45 degrees. used to have me live float, set a club down, 45 degrees. Okay, now most everybody look at, they start down chomping. They go like this. Yeah, but you have to come down parallel. Now you got a plane and a body turning your sway up at impact, you understand? You understand what I said? Yeah. Look here, the downstroke up here is parallel to that now. Get your hands this way, look here. You didn't come down this line. You're trying to go to that to look up. If you aim the club at the target from a perpendicular position, there is no way to come back to the ball and keep the ball in the fairway. Look out. Look out. My forces, as far as I'm concerned, the stroke from your right hip to there has got to be on the 45 degree plane, understand? Not yep. 90, okay? Now go ahead and make a thing. You put it on that plane. You can't miss it. But if you try to, to drive the ball toward the hole, you ain't going to drive it. Look at it. I mean, those shots are just killed. You know, as a starting point, as a practice point, if you wanted to feel it, you know, don't do the pivot. Feel if you can get that 45 degree. I mean, that's just effortless power. 